Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LLC Stack. So guys, in today's uh, example, we will pass the data using custom events with some parameter. If you remember in our last examples, we just uh, triggered the event from child to parent. But this time with, the, with that event, we'll be passing some parameters also. And guys, uh, we'll be passing multiple parameters. So there will be more than one parameters into that event. Okay. So uh, let's start today's video and let me just open my default org first. So to open your default org, you just have to press command shift and P. And if you're using a uh, window, so it will be control shift and P. Okay, so this is my default org and let me move to the last example. We are having a good collections of examples now. Okay, so this was the last example guys in which uh, we we were just sending an event from child to parent. Okay, and once the parent will identify the event, it will just increase the count. So as you can see, it's just increasing the count. We are not passing any value. We are just sending the state of event like when the event is getting triggered. So it will just send a signal to the parent and the parent will increase the value accordingly. Okay. So guys, we will be using this example and we will be modifying it uh, as per our requirement to send some parameter with this event uh, indication. Okay. Okay. So I'm already having two empty component for this. My component name is parent component custom event with data and the child component name is child component custom event with data. Okay. So guys, basically we will first copy this example because we will be trying the next one in this so we'll be having the same code and in the same code we'll be passing some parameters okay so let's open the last example first which was parent component communication here it is so i will take the html part first okay here's my html let me save it. Now I will take the JavaScript. All right. So this is my new parent component with the same code, which we were having in the last example. Okay. Now let's copy the code to the child component as well. So this is the HTML from previous example. And here you go. And this is the JavaScript. Okay, so this was the default code from our last example. Okay, so guys, now uh, in this example, we'll be passing some parameters also. In the last example, we just dispatched the empty event from the child component to the parent component. But in this example, we'll be passing some parameters also. Okay. So we will start with this child components JavaScript part. And so guys, let's do one thing. In today's example, uh, I will be sending a maximum count of clicks value from my child component to parent component. And I will stop this count click functionality when, when the count reaches to the maximum value. Okay, so using, uh, using this functionality, we'll be sending parameter to the parent one and I will also send a string parameter guys so you know you can just understand like how you can send number and how you can send a string using custom events so I will be having two parameters so let me just start with the number and let's say if, if the number is and value and let's have five here by default okay so this was the old examples lines let me just comment it first okay all right now the, now guys we will be sending some parameters also so we'll have a constant first and let's name it my event with value okay all right And now we are using the same code, this custom event one. All 
all right so this is still an empty event guys so with this event we will be passing the parameter so to pass the parameter you can hit a comma here and after that you have to open curly braces and in curly braces guys you can pass the parameter using the detail attribute here so here you can just pass the detail okay and this detail is basically a kind of a array of attributes in which you can just send multiple attributes but you have to still you have to use the detail one first because on the parent one we will be getting the parameters from this detail uh, attribute okay so while we'll be getting the parameter we'll be using this detail keyword also there okay so we will be having and value and and let's send a string let's name it message okay all right then after that we have to use the dispatch event method also and in this we will just pass this my event with value here okay so guys now from our child component we are just sending values to the parent component and the event name is same increase count so this event will be we'll be using this the same event name into the parent component okay now let's move to the parent one here it is okay so this is the default html and this is the default javascript from our last example so let's have the values here now let's have and value first guys this is the parameter in this parent class okay this is not from the child component so let's have and value as zero first okay and let's keep count as one and on handle event change in this time we'll be passing the event here okay and we'll keep this count increment all right now we will assign the value first let me put the end value so we can get the values like this first of all we have to use the event then detail and then we can use the parameter name so the parameter name was in the child component it was end value now this name guys this is from the child component and this is the parent component you can have different name here but the child component name should be same which you have used already in the child component okay and let's have message also okay and the default value let's keep it default message okay this dot message will be event dot detail dot message okay all right okay the code looks fine to me and let's have the condition now so we will add if condition here so if this dot count is less than this dot and value so this will be the if condition so it is a single line condition so we don't have to use the curly braces here okay so the parent component js is ready now we will update the html part so we are having count of clicks here and let's have some more parameters let's say in default message in default message we will be having msg okay and let's hit a new line here all right so the parent component is also ready guys but we still have to change the child component name so in child component name uh, let me just check it is child component custom event with data okay guys so you must have noticed like the 
the component name is without any white space or without any dash but uh, while assigning the child component we are using dash between the words so guys there is a rule in lwc and uh, uh, as per that rule you have to use the dash sign whenever you are having a capital letter in your uh, component name okay so for example let's take our component name now okay here it is and the c is also small so guys this is the actual component name let me just make it small okay okay so now assigning while we will be assigning it to the parent one so we have to use child So we'll be using it like this. So first we'll use child. After that, the component C is capital. So we have to use a dash here. Child component. And then custom. Okay, then event. And guys, as you can see, the width is uh, starting with the small letter. So we'll be using it with the event event with data all right so this is the child component name guys and let me just copy the same on the closing tag also okay the error is gone now all right so the parent and child component are ready now so let me just deploy it to the org so we'll do right click and deploy source to org and for the parent component also we will do just right click and deploy source to org. All right, let's check out the output and let's hope we don't get any error. In JavaScript guys, you cannot presume like you will be getting error or not because you know, the main part of JavaScript is case sensitivity. So let me just have the component, parent component, custom event with data, here it is. And okay. Let me just save it. We are having default message here. We are having count of click, which is one, but we are having the component name here, right? So I think we forgot to remove the component name. Yeah, <laughs> let me just remove it and deploy it one more time. Parent component with data. Let me just right click on it and deploy source to org again. It is deployed. Let me just refresh it. Okay, now it's looking fine. So let's try to hit the count button. So guys, on this click of the count button, we'll be getting a default message from the child component and also we'll be having the end value in this parent component. So guys, based on that end value, the count of click will stop automatically, okay? So let's try it. So as you can see, we are having a default message here, which is I am string because we sent a string from the child component okay and the count is two now let's hit it to five because the value of and uh, number was five so it should work till five only so it is three four five and yes it is working absolutely fine so as you can see the count click is not working because it has reached the maximum value here okay so guys that's how you can send multiple values to your component using custom event let me just change the title here and let's make it, I'm listening with parameters. Okay, just deploy, let me refresh it. So guys, that's how you can just send multiple parameters using the custom events. And also guys, you can find the complete code on my blog, which is salesforceworld.com. And I hope you are following the series completely because each example is related to the previous one. I mean, 
the example is different but you know in some examples i am just using the code from the previous example like this one so make sure you're following the complete series and if you like today's video guys subscribe to the channel it will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching